Hello YouTube, my name is Wyme, and today I'm bringing you a game from the bowels of steam called Kingdoms of Alamar, The Reckoning. Now this game came out in 2012, bankrupted Studio 38, and tried to compete with Skyrim, which as you can probably tell, it didn't work out so well. Uh, this is a basic RPG hack and slash game, and uh, let's get right into the gameplay. Uh, we're going to start with a new game. We're going to go on hard mode. Uh, the game on normal is decent. Casual is a face roll. I've never done hard mode before, so let's give it a whirl. Lots of story in this game, so I'll try to keep my mouth shut during those pieces. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae. In a world awakened to new magic, perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faith. <laughs> but Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Om, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Such two lives are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fae do heal death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Ooh, I'm a special snowflake. This should be interesting. He's sleeping. Oh, Pokemon cards. I knew it. Alright, intro to the game. Let's see. I think I'm going to choose a mage for this particular gameplay. Uh, I've played this game a bunch, but I've never played a mage. It's on hard mode. Should be interesting. Always a surprise, eh, Gran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Oh, character creation time. Let's see what we can pick here. We can pick the Ali Main, or Al Main, uh, Alchemy Blacksmith, and Persuasion. So it looks like a human. Uh, Var and I. Detect hidden, lock picking, mercantile. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this one, but it's got alchemy, sage, craft, and a dispelling. That seems interesting. Might be a good mage pick. And the uh, Doka Lafar, sage, craft, persuasion, and stealth. Huh. I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, this makes sense. I'm going to pick a female. Yes. Alright, we've got a couple of different uh, places where we can kind of attributes. Earth, Air, Wisdom, Order, Justice, and None. None giving a 1% experience bonus. Uh, it would obviously make sense to go with the 
plus 10% mana. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Wisdom. I'm going to be making Mage presets here. Uh, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of presets. I'll pick the one that doesn't look like a hideous beast. There we go. Preset 2. Alright, we got a couple more presets in the face. Sliders, always nice. Oh, she looks like, uh... <laughs> she looks like we're not picking her. I think I'll go with... This one. Yeah. Skin tone, we're gonna keep it dark. You can be purple. That is always an option. High color, we'll go with, uh... Let's take a look here. I got some interesting colors. I think we're gonna go with red. My shadow color, that doesn't matter. Lipstick color, we'll go with red. Yeah, intensity. That's an annoying sound. We'll go with max. Hair. Uh, I got a couple of sliders for hairstyles. Not a whole lot to choose from, to be honest. This is an older game, though. No DLC or anything like that, except for Teeth of Naros, which I have. Let's take a look here. Oh, well, this one looks good. We'll go with that hair color. We'll go with the old flaming red. Uh, I'm going to assume that that's it. Eyebrow color. I uh, will keep those dark. Let's see. Accessories. Jewelry. We've got... Eyebrow piercing. Let's see what else we have here. You can't see. Oh, we got a little. Yeah, we'll go with a lip piercing this time. Tattoo. Let's see. No tramp stamps available. Sorry, boys. Uh, looks like we'll have to do the old Mike Tyson face tattoo. Tattoo color. We'll go with dark. Intensity. We'll turn it up a little bit. That's about right. All right. Go ahead and confirm this. Ah, she's a low sulfur. There she and is. A low sulfur. That's what I am. I never did like them myself. Snooty bunch. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star. This one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Alright. Looks like it's time to choose a name. Uh, Sioban is not really my preferred choice. I think I'm going to go with a Maui. I like the name Maui. Good mage name. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Oh, wow. That sounds pleasant. Nope. <laughs> Look at the expression. <laughs> Something tells me she's been on a pile of guys like this before. Looks like it's a rough night. Now, which one of these did I get my phone number to? Ah, fuck it. Ready for some action. Alright, so it's ASWD, standard movement. Uh, a little bit of roll action with spacebar. Uh, stylized graphics, looks really nice. Uh, kind of holds up today. Uh, doesn't look that bad. I'm going to go ahead and grab this with F. Take that document. Uh, I'm going to walk over here and toss that poor bastard in. Wow. Absolutely no reason to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this 
sword here. Yep, rusty long sword. Crack open the door. You equip stuff with hitting I, going to your primary weapons. Double click the weapon. There you go. Actually looks pretty cool. I like the look of the weapons in this game and the armor as well, and you'll see that later as I do more playthroughs, but uh yeah, it's definitely a cool little feature. Alright, we'll keep moving. No, no, you're getting chased. Oh, <laughs> what the <Scatter>. fuck? <laughs> Something tells me he didn't make it, boys. R.I.P. Gnomes. Go ahead and walk through here. Oh, what would an RPG be like without fucking giant rats? Let's go. <laughs> It's kind of a hack and slash combat system, but on hardcore mode, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, hoping that uh, my lack of skills doesn't translate into poor gameplay. Yep. Okay, we can't hit the barrels. Like I said, it's been it's been quite a bit since I played this game. So uh, bear with me, gentlemen. Bear with me. Uh, if you like the look of this game, or maybe you want to watch a couple more playthroughs, uh, Help, I believe on Steam it's fairly cheap. I know the company is out of business, so you're not going to get any DLC except for Teeth and Arrows. Right, Jump with F. Please. Slice through these boys. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he likes that. Look at this guy, just completely ignoring me. <laughs> Where are you going? And a little bit of that. Nice. Wow, I really like the combat. Oh shit! What? Jesus! Fucking die! Take that battered armor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You haven't come a long way. I've seen. On the slab. Yeah, so you tried to dump me. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. My voice acting's not too cringe. What uh, happened well, to me? Uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the well of souls, and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. Look at her. She does not give a shit. Who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Alright. Five or three minor healer potions. Let's go. Let me get this door. And we can be on our way. Let me cut these boxes. Right this yeah. way. How's that for your research? Let's see what we can equip here. Got armor. We got some battered armor. Oh. Uh, we got some worn leggings. Looking good. Looking good. Alright. Moving on. Let's go. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. <laughs> Looks like I'm falling whenever I run. An end to death. Wow. That is pretty cool. Another unnecessary cutscene. Oh, that sound is AIDS. Jesus. Look at all these poor bastards. Look at this guy. <laughs> Eyes wide open. Rip gnome. Feels like the building's crumbling around us. Pull that lever. Let's go. Shield. I'm not going to use it. But, uh, I have it now. Crash 
There's more of these boxes. There we go. Another treasure chest. Do you hear something? No, I don't. I don't hear anything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I better kill these guys quick. Oh. It's very weird with the camera. It, it moves kind of freely. I believe I will. Alright, so I think we got to equip the bow in our secondary. Yep, crude birch bow. Alright. Now you can cycle between your secondary and primary weapons by pressing Q or rotating the uh, mouse wheel. I prefer Q. The mouse wheel can sometimes over rotate. Alright, so now I gotta, I'm assuming, kill these two guys. It's been a while. Ow. Fucker. Alright, let's keep going here. Love this game's graphics. Definitely a big fan of the combat, too. Oh, better pull out the bow. I got your ass. Got him. Nice. All right, we're going to slice some of these boxes up. Take oh, There we go. Take these leg plates. I don't think I'm going to use any of this uh, plate mail or whatever the armor type is. I am going to try to go full mage here. I think this is just kind of like the intro. It gives you a little bit of everything. I'll go ahead and equip this as a secondary weapon. I don't need the bow anymore. Pull those bad boys out. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. All right, there we go. Time to sneak. Oh, oh, oh. I think I just gave him a colonoscopy. Ouch. All right, more sneak action coming up. Oh, nice. Oh my god, that is cool. I hope hard mode doesn't just give him more HP, because that would not be very interesting. They seem to be doing a little bit more. Alright, we'll head through this. Cave blossoms only respond. Of magic. Yeah. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Alright. Per your request, we've finally got to the spider problem under control. Alright, so we're gonna end up running into spiders. That's uh some pretty terrible foreshadowing they just put in there, but I don't have time to read this entire note. I'll go ahead and loot this chest. And we'll head into what we would assume to be the spider area. Yes. Got some webbage. Kind of like the graphics in this game. It's pretty unique. It does remind me a lot of Fable, but. Get some worn hand wraps. Let's throw these on before we get moving here. Oh, okay, that gives us some mana. These torn robes also give us some mana for five. All right, so we're starting to look like a mage now. All right. <laughs> Incoming spider. 
Looks like we have a spell that I just <laughs> potatoed the wrong way. Nice. Alright. Smells pretty good. And there's a staff. Very nice. Alright, well that's going to be our main iron weapon now, since we are going mage. It completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you could use that staff to burn a path through. Oh, okay. Alright, got it. Not more spiders, burn them. Nice. Burn them. I'm on it. I'm gonna do a little bit of magic here. Ah, I love the magic. Especially the staff effects. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep moving. Another web to burn through. Spiders. Ah, I let myself get it by that. Oh, I love it. The spell effects are actually pretty cool. More healing potions. I'll probably need those later. Easy. You're not one of them. It's so get away. And who is this? That's what I intend to find out. She came out of the well. What? You better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those twatter make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. Where is Hughes? Directly ahead, in All his right. study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you right now. You're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll oh, see you thank you. If fate wills. I have been waiting so long for someone to tell me that. Uh, armor. Nothing protects quite like layers. Leather armor is thin. It will give you the speed to reach an enemy. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. I believe we've already got all the armor we need. Yeah, the torn robes are the same. Uh, the worn gauntlets, we got those on. Uh, old boots and old shoes. Okay, we didn't have those. Alright, we're looking like a mage now, huh? What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Alright, we're going to keep moving. We've got our flame staff. Wow, this is really cool. Remember this game being quite cinematic. And the graphics aren't that bad. I mean, it's really held up over the years. Let me know what you guys think down below. I think it looks pretty good. Just walk right through you. There you go. You've made it, and look at you. Even with all you've been through, I know your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing: the Well of Souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Yes, yes, what the fuck is going you on? I should explain right now. The Dwarf have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. 
What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Incredibly handsome. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <clears throat> Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tawapa have reached the lab. That inside the mouth. Oh, our buddy. No. Nice dodge. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. She does not give a shit. Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Aga. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Alright, looks like we gotta get out of here. I apologize about the background noise. We just had a uh, ambulance drive by. Alright, let's go. Through the falling rocks. Oh, I got an enemy. Nice. I really like that magic ability. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get. body to loot. I'm sorry, buddy. Looks like you won't be needing these. Yoink. Alright. Oh, looks like we got a boss up ahead. Alright, let's see how this goes. He looks angry. Alright, let's kill these ads. that. Throw him some. Oh, he's resisting a lot of my magic. Alright, how do we get mana? Jesus. Alright, it's so a lot of dodge action that needs to happen. Not overly difficult. Oh, that hit him hard. Ow. Jesus. He is persistent. that. Dodge that. Not what I wanted to do. Where's my staff? Oh, wow. There we go. He's almost dead. Read it. Nice. Combo. Nice. Oh, I haven't not played this game on hard difficulty before. I'm wondering what it's going to be like later. That boss wasn't challenging, but certainly not a face roll. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. Alright. Looks like that area is clear. This is an open world game, similar to Skyrim. Like I said, stylized graphics is the way to go. 
especially for a game like this to try to compete with Skyrim. Just works best. Uh, I really like the animations. I really like the fighting in this game too. I love the magic. There's a couple of plants here. I can harvest them. Very nice. Well, I think I'm going to end this for my first gameplay video, first YouTube video. Uh, hit a like, comment, or subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, let me know down below. Uh, it'd really be a help. I apologize for any sound issues I had. Like I said, this is the first video I've ever made. First time using OBS. And uh, I'm a little new to it, so uh, don't cut me too much slack. Any uh, criticism would be appreciated. Alright, thank you guys for watching again. You have a good one.